Hey guys, this is Will of TyBL and welcome back to my channel. For the couple of weeks, I did a lot of spoiler videos for Together the series and I really enjoyed so much. But this channel does not only cater to Together videos but also the other BL series as well. Although we are a bit sad because her favorite BL series will have an inevitable ending, it means new BL series will rise to make our life happier. In this video, I'm going to talk about the upcoming Thai BL series for 2020 to 2021 and what series I think would dominate the BL world. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Of course, the number one on this list would be the Shipper the series. This series will be the replacement on the time slot of Together the series. We all know that Together will bid its goodbye on May 15th of 2020. The first episode of The Shipper will air on May 22nd of 2020 at 9.30 p.m. Thailand time. The Shipper the series will have Ompa Wat as one of its main character that is famous for its he's coming to me and make it right the series. Basically, the series tells about the story of Fujoshi who had an accident and her soul got trapped in the body of Kim who is one of the main male characters in the show. As a shipper, she used that advantage to make her ship sails. Personally, I have a mixed emotions for this series whether it would really be a BL series or not. I also think that the series has a light and funny story. One of the best Thai BL movies from 2014 was My Bromance the Movie. And for this year, we will have its successor in the form of a series, my Bromance five years later. It was year 2018 when the supposedly successor of the movie was announced to the public. My Bromance the movie still has its impact even in today's fans. If you haven't watched it yet, you better check it out. Basically, this show will be five years later after Golf died in the movie. It was revealed that Golf did not actually die and just used that to stay away from Bank. Also, it is worth noting that My Bromance the movie had its series counterpart, My Bromance the series. The series version starred Cooper who is also starring right now in My Engineer the series and also Guide who took the character of Bank. The plot of these two was basically the same but only differed in the ending. If we had a tragic ending on the movie version, the series version had a happy ending on it. Next on our list is one of the most anticipated successor of Two Moons to the series, the Two Moons 3 the series. It was announced late 2019 that the series will have its third installment of the show. When Two Moons 3 was announced that it will happen, it was said that the Six Moons will reprise their roles. Just a brief of a history, the original Two Moons the series that was aired in 2017 had an entire different cast from the casts we all know today. Everything was different aside from the plot itself. Personally, I like the original casts because it was one of the first BL series that I've watched. But, the new casts are also promising. Recently, the Six Moons got into an issue when Motive Village announced a new project for the Five Moons which consists of Ben, June, Nine, Pavel, and Dome. The company got a lot of feedbacks from the fans on why they left out Earth on the new project. The fans were also asking on the company what would be their plan to Earth since they haven't seen him on the latest events held by the company. I hope that these issues would be settled soon. We don't want to see another different cast on the season 3, right? Who loves mystery genre films? Well, number 4 on our list is Manner of Death. It's basically a novel by the writer Salmon that will be turned into a series. It's good that BL series is now having diversity when it comes to the genre and the plot. Somehow, we're tired of seeing engineering or other college-based romance in the BL series. Manner of Death will give us a new flavor of BL series. Here is the synopsis. Dr. Banjit is a medical examiner who works at the provincial hospital. One day, the body of a woman who died as a result of hanging comes in and after carrying out the autopsy. Dr. Banjit concludes that it's not suicide but in fact a murder case. This suddenly makes him a target of someone powerful. As a result of his statement, 
Dr. Banjit has an anonymous man broke into his house and threatens him to change the report to suicide. Dr. Banjit doesn't take this man's threat seriously until one day one of his friends, who is a prosecutor, disappears. He begins to secretly conduct an investigation of his own in order to get to the truth, and somehow all clues lead to a man called Tan as the main suspect. Tan, however, denies everything and instead convinces Dr. Banjip to work together in order to get to the bottom of this and find the real murder together. According to the novel, the main characters are a bit mature than usual. If you were to be asked, who do you want to be cast on this series? Another novel that is adapted to series is Oxygen the Series. Just the brief background of the story, orphaned at a very young age, Guy, a fourth-year engineering student, has had to work hard and earn for himself for as long as he can remember. Still, through the test of time, he still has a soft demeanor and a smile on his face. So Lo, a freshman in the faculty of music, can get anything he wants with a flick of his wrist. Money, fame, good looks, the boy has everything, except his smile. When Solo's mother passed away, she took with her his smile. Nothing could fill this missing hole in him, that is, until one day when he sees a smiling boy working at a cafe. One night the two worlds collide in a small coffee shop. For a cup of hot milk and a warm smile, Solo finds himself back in the cafe every night. For a soft boy who reminds him of a husky, he finds himself waiting for a late night visitor with a cup of hot milk, night after night. Night after night, the two boys continue to meet, at the same spot, at the same time, until they soon come to realize that they have become each other's breath and necessity. Just like Oxygen. For the cast of the said series, Solo will be played by the actor Natsupanit while the character Guy will be played by Petch Chanapum. I'm actually hooked with the chemistry of both actors. Oxygen the series was supposedly released this May of 2020 but was said to be pushed back to July 20th, 20 due to editing. I hope that we could see this series by then. Who is fan of motorbike racing here? If you are, then this BL series might get your attention. Number 6 on this list is Motorcycle the series. When I watch the trailer of this series, I'm not that interested with its plot to be honest but let's wait until the series is released. Here is the synopsis of the series. It all starts on the day on which Run, a stubborn young boy who loves to ride motorcycles, meets a stranger and accepts his challenge. Run and the stranger have a street race, but an accident leaves Run unconscious. The stranger quickly helps him by reanimating him. That is Run and Mike's first kiss. Fate makes them meet again. While looking for a workshop, Run discovers that Mike is a motorcycle mechanic. As they grow closer, he also finds out that Mike already has a girlfriend. While being confused by his own feelings, Mike accidentally sees Run kissing another guy, Bus, and that hurts him. Things get complicated when Run meets King, who promises to race alongside him. The competition between Mike and Run is about to intensify. For the cast of the series, Khalid Mohammed, 16 years old, will play the character of Run while Big Athanicorn will play the character of Mike. What is your opinion that one of the main casts is just 16 years old? Next on our list is Teddy Bear Miracle. This one actually does not have an official English title yet but only based from the title of the novel it was adapted on. Here is the synopsis of the upcoming series. Tao is a giant white teddy bear and has been Nat's comfort object for 10 years. And this teddy bear and has the ability to communicate with other objects in the house. One day, unbeknownst to Nat, the teddy bear was miraculously turned into a young man. But that young man can't remember anything about himself. Tahu tried to find his own background, but everything got complicated when he found out that his background was connected to the dark secrets of his owner's family. He had to hurry because his time as human is ticking and he wanted so much to be close to the person he loved. 
Will Toru be able to find the answers to his questions and reveal all the secrets? And would there be another miracle that allow him to fulfill his wish? I'm happy that we will be having a fantasy-based BL series soon. I hope that BL series will continue to improve each and every series. For the meantime, there are no casts yet for this series. Who would you want to act on these roles? Next is A Tale of Thousand Stars the series. This is the BL series I'm eagerly waiting to watch on. The plot is fresh and the casts look promising. Lately, the series got into an issue where the character of Earth will be changed from a soldier into a forest ranger. The set issue was because of the current situation and stand of the military in Thailand. Also, due to the current pandemic on the country, the airing date of the set series is not yet sure. I hope GMM could start the production soon but let's also consider the safety of them. For the synopsis, a volunteer teacher dies in a tragic accident, in which her heart is transplanted to Tian. Through a series of diary entries Tian learns about her life, her secrets and interests, including her promise to military officer Pupa, about counting a thousand stars with him. Tian then decides to follow in her footsteps and complete her dream. With Tian a new volunteer teacher, he attempts to befriend Pupa. Yet, Pupa gives off a cold exterior. Slowly the two grow close, but Tian's heart beats fast around the military officer, as he starts to fall for him, much like its previous owner did. But with the area being warden and dangerous, can they keep their thousand star promise? Sounds interesting, right? For the casting, Earth will play the character of Poop while Mix will play the character of Tian. Who fell in love with the first season of Love by Chance? Rejoice BL fans! The most successful and most talked BL series from 2018 will be having a season 2 this year. According to one of our sources, the workshops of the actors will start this month for the upcoming season 2. Although it's good news for us, there are also drawbacks for the series. If you are hoping to see AMP again in this season, prepare to be disappointed. Because of the issues before between the management of Saint and his co-actors, the return of Pete in the second season is unlikely to happen. Let's also take advantage to see this series because it will be the last BL series that we will see Perth and Nina as BL actors. It was late last year when they announced that they will stop doing BL roles. Nevertheless, if you love the characters of Tin and Ken and somehow disappointed on how their story ended on season 1, this will be its continuation. The focus of the season 2 is their love story. We are also hoping that the other side couples would have a development too. Love by Chance the series will air on August this year until November. It will have 14 episodes. Of course, if the first season is the most successful BL series for that particular year, it will definitely have a season 2. Tharn Type Season 2 is going to happen. I'm happy that the story of Tharn and Type will have a continuation. If the season 2 follows the book, the events of the story will take up 7 years after the first season. The new season will also cast additional actors in the show. I'm so excited for this show. I also want to watch the wedding scenes on season 2. If anything goes right, we could see Tharn Type Season 2 later this year or early next year. As I said before, this channel is not only for spoilers of BL series but also to give you updates for your favorite shows. What is your favorite upcoming BL series so far and why it is your favorite? Tell us in the comments below. That's it for today and see you on my next video.